Hello and welcome to Developing Developer. This is part two of the series. In this series, we are making a Spring Boot application. In this part, we'll be creating the database, entities, DTOs, and the mapper classes to convert from DTO to ent entity. So head to the application dot properties file. In this file, as the name suggests, we'll set the pro set the properties for our application. Now to connect to the database, first you need to add the driver, then set the path to the database. For our tutorial, I'll be using H2 in memory database. You can use SQL, Postgres, MongoDB, or any other database that you like. Set the username and password for the database. I'm using the default settings. Then set the source of the schema. Then set the initialization mode. Now create a file for the schema. First create a directory SQL. Then schema.sql. Once you create the schema.sql file, create the table, then set the ID as primary key and auto increment it. Then set the name, give it a constraint as not null. Then set the rating and also give the constraint as not null. The rating will be a floating point or double. Now our schema is done. Next we have to create the entity class and the DTO class. Our entity and DTO class will be same as our schema. First let's create the movie entity class. So for that. It will be a data class. It will be same as our uh, schema. So ID, which will be of type int, name of type string, then make it fair, then the rating, which will be of type double. Now we need to create a DTO. For that same as before it will be id name and rating now our movie and the dto class are done so we know that this is an entity class and this is a dto class before moving on what is a dto class and why we are creating two different classes Spring Boot has an architecture. It has different layers. The first one is the controller layer. Next is this is the service layer, and then it's the persistence layer. The each and every layer has their own responsibilities. We have to pass an object in between the layers. The movie entity class won't be passed. It belongs to the persistence layer. So the movie DTO class. DTO stands for data transfer object. So we will be passing the data transfer object from in between the layers, and not the entity class. The next thing is we know that the movie is the entity class, but how Spring will know? For that, we need to add an annotation that is entity. Make sure you import the correct one. And for that, we need to add ID and it generated value. Now we need to set the generation type that is strategy. Now our entity is done. Now we need a mapper class to convert this movie into movie DTO. Once again, I made a mistake. I forgot to make a package for DTO. Now we need is a mapper class to convert from entity to a DTO. For that, we'll create utils not mapper. This will be an interface. It of generic type first it will take a DTO then it will take an entity it will have two methods one is converting from entity so from entity means converting entity into DTO it will take entity and return DTO another function will be to entity as the name suggests it will convert DTO into an entity The next thing is implement the method. This class will inherit mapper movie DTO and movie. Now to solve the error, I just have to implement the methods 
and that's it now return movie detail and it's done just copy the same method and replace it with this one instead of movie we'll be creating a movie class then instead of entity it will be domain and that's it our mapper class is also done that's it for this video in the next video we will be creating a post endpoint to add movies thank you for watching the video and don't forget to like and subscribe Goodbye and happy coding.